Over the past couple weeks, I've been revealing a 500 card submission that I sent to PSA back in July. Last week, we had a really, really great return that finally jumped up some of our numbers for our goals. Today, we have another really good one that I'm excited to share with you guys. But before we get started, let's check out our goals and remind ourselves of where we're standing today. For our first goal, we currently have two cards lower than a PSA 8. Our second goal was to get a 40% PSA 10 ratio. We're at 35%, but let's see if we can pick that up today. Finally, I want to pay for the whole entire order with PSA 10s alone to recoup my cost. We're actually really far ahead of schedule on that one. Let's jump into the next 50 cards. So you can see we have three stacks like always. Um, I left a Jordan on top and a Peyton Manning just to tease you guys here. We'll come up to those in a second. First, we're going to start with this Steph Curry um, Tricolor Select. It's a really cool card. Um, you see, I haven't had a ton of Panini uh, cards in this order yet, but here's a cool one. Steph Curry Tricolor Prism. Uh, did pull a PSA 9, unfortunately. Um, here's another Here's another cool one. Uh, this is Steph Curry Night Court. This one we pulled a PSA 10. That's really cool. So I did spot, um, while I was digging through the box, I spotted a Kobe on the back here too. So I want to put those together just to see if we could pair them up. Um, We'll see. So we have, uh, again, a Kobe here, Night Court, Excalibur. Been really good grade so far on this set. Pulled another PSA 10. That's awesome. So this is really cool. Um, just want to point this out as we get started. Like, I, I knew I wanted to talk about this. I put them next to each other. I didn't know what the grade would be, but it's really sweet having cards of this, I guess I should say, players that you really enjoy from the same set. I think it's something underrated about that um, in the hobby. For instance, I've really, really, really enjoyed putting together Peyton Manning and Tom Brady from the same set because uh, they're always going to be in the argument of the best quarterbacks of all time. And they're always going to be, um, you know, in contention with each other. But to some extent, their careers are tied together so much. Uh, so I think it's just really, really sweet having that, you know, something that's meaningful to you um, and in the way that you collect. I think that type of content and that type of, you know, collecting goes under the radar. And I don't think many people know that that's out there. So here's uh, some cool cards we've hit so far. Actually doing really well again. Um, so hope we can keep that up. It's a Chinese Yao Ming. Um, I know last last reveal that you guys are going to see, um, or I already have seen. Um, and if you haven't, feel free to jump back and then come to this one. Um, but it did a lot better. The number two and number three were pretty poor. Um, then the last one was a lot better, uh, which is a good thing. And this one seems to be that way so far. Uh, so I hope that, again, stays true. 2004 Tops LeBron. Um, forgot I had these in here. This is a pretty cool card. I uh, pulled a PSA 9. I think a lot of these, a lot of these 9s now, um, you know, now that I've recorded a few of these and I really looked at them, there were mistakes that were made. I'm not going to say that I was perfect in judging these cards, and it's a learning lesson every time. Um, like, pulled a PSA 9 here. But like, a th for instance, right here, a thick card, right? I get, You just can never expect a 10. I don't think you can ever expect a 10. If it happens, that's great. If it doesn't, you know, that's just the way it was meant to be. Um, okay, PSA 8 here. And for instance, I haven't looked at this too much, but... I imagine it should be something obvious. It's something I want to look at after this because if you're paying, you know, $18 to grade a card, which is what I did here, and you're getting nines on a lot of stuff, you got to figure out why because you're kind of wasting your money, to be honest, unless it's for your collection, which, um, you know, a card like this might be for me, a Peyton Manning, uh, Demarius Thomas pairing numbered, PSA 9. But it's for your collection, obviously, value, you know, and grade ultimately doesn't matter if you don't care about it. But, you know, for people who, um, you know, maybe sell some of the cards, uh, Okay, PSA 9 here. I was going to say 10 would be sweet. PSA 9. But, you know, for me, who's uh, a lot of these cards I have to sell, I can't just I can't just grade all of these and hold on to all of them. It isn't feasible. Um, you don't want to be hitting 9s like I am right here. So you got to gotta figure that out and make, you know, a learning lesson for next time is the biggest thing. Let's see if we can get some more 10s. All right, there we go. Like I said, this LeBron box set, it never fails me. Um, it's always been 60, 70, 80% PSA 10 ratio. Um, and I will say, I didn't buy those. Uh, nice 10 here. Finally, a Topps Chrome 10. I do like a, oh, awesome. <laughs> um, but the LeBron box set really hasn't failed me. It's always been super consistent. And I do buy those boxes sealed when I had bought them, just an FYI. So if you buy the raw cards, like um, if I were to buy this online or at a show, I typically these corners are pretty bad, but... Um, it's nice you can buy the box unopened, take, get the cards, then grade them, which I think has been missing in the hobby for a while here while PSA was shut down. So a slam, Kobe Bryant. This one's really cool. A nice insert set, I believe. Um, acetate, you can see through the card. Pretty cool one. Um, pulled a PSA 9. Actually, a really solid grade on this. I know these had slight issues, but I want to get them graded up um, just because I felt like they were so cool. I'm going to shift this aside so you can see what cards are coming a little bit here. 
This is Kobe past and present, uh, pulled a PSA 9. And I did, obviously you guys have seen, I, I pulled a 10 on the other one of these. And I do like to send two, at least two copies of the same card. Um, and that's for my own sanity. So like if I'm listing these on eBay, um, right, I, that past and present, I can list a PSA 10 and then I can do, you know, sell similar and list a PSA 9. I have to change like two things on the listing. So in the amount of time it takes me to list basically one card, I now have two listed, which I think um, is kind of underrated. So nice little run on tens here. Let's see if we can keep it going. <laughs> Uh, no, absolutely not, of course. Uh, this is a PSA 8 of Topps Chrome. Um, been pretty tough for me so far. I'm not, again, with this, I'm not seeing anything. It's, I'm sure it's something on the surface, but I just can't imagine I would have said stuff that were scratched. I mean, a little off-centered on the back, but it's the way it goes. You can't be perfect. You can't can't win them all. I am happy to see, though, no, uh, no grades lower than an 8 so far. That was a big goal of mine, like I obviously shared with you guys already. Nice LeBron, or sorry, nice Jordan here. I've done really well on these later SP Authentics. Uh, this is a nice 10. Again, imagine $100, $200, somewhere in that range, hopefully. Next, Aaron Rodgers, Orange Refractor, PSA 9. And we have a Tom Brady Top 100 Players, PSA 9. Optic Tom Brady, PSA 9. Um, so like I said, send two of those, for instance, two. And I did happen this time to hit two nines on that set. But it, it, it's nice because I only have to list one, right? If I'm listing on eBay, I just do, you know, quantity two, which makes it a lot easier. Russell Wilson is a cool one. Um, again, you've seen this set. I did really well on Finest Kobe. Let's keep it going. Ah, oh, we do. Sweet. Awesome. Really sweet one. I'm sure these are going to go really quick at a show or um, again on eBay. And then my strategy, and I think I talked about this in some of the prior ones, is really take this money and put it in stuff that I'm really excited about. Not that I'm not excited about like early LeBron stuff. It's just, you know, my collect my collector inside of me is just screaming for, you know, sp very specific cards. And that's like what I want to chase after. And the only way I can fund them, um, you know, without being a millionaire, putting money into this uh, is really to, to put the work in, right? Like me sitting here, nice piece of 10, Tom Brady. Um, I remember this in Michigan in the background. But it, me sitting here, right, grading these cards, putting the time in is really important. I think that's my way of scaling up and getting the cards that one day I want to acquire, like, you know, Gold Refractor, Tom Brady's, stuff like that. Um, stuff that really is out of my realm. But, um, you know, if I'm grading a lot and doing well, that that covers this. You know, you sell 10 of these cards, now you're up to a big card. And that's the biggest thing for me. PSA 9, Tom Brady. And then we have a LeBron, PSA 9. We had some awesome cards today, guys, but the results were just not quite there. We still only have two cards lower than a PSA 8, but our PSA 10 percentage has dropped back down to 33%. Our PSA 10s are also no longer on pace to pay for the order. We'd expect to be about $7,000 halfway through the reveal. I'll see you guys next week. Let's hope we can pick it up then.